Hello and welcome. I'm Linda McRae. I'm artist in residence at the Holter Museum of Art in conjunction with my exhibit entitled The Spiritual and Abstract Paintings by Linda McRae. It's at the Holter Museum of Art, which is open and free, so I hope you can stop by. Uh, if not, I hope this video gives you a look at what we have going on here. I translate universal spiritual truths into abstract paintings that speak to others regardless of their traditions. I use abstraction, which so powerfully through line, color, and texture, speaks directly to the heart. And I layer my paintings with symbolism. This is a good example of my more overt symbolism. Usually I don't have this strong of symbols. The title of this painting is Unity, Opening to One Another. And we have different architectural details of major world religions to symbolize all world religions. And they are open. You see that these lines, are, there's open spaces. All of these faith traditions are open to one another to create a oneness. All of my paintings have light in them, the symbolism of light and dark, because I image my creator as light. I build these boards that I paint on first, and it is on quarter inch birch plywood. And I set them out from the wall for that more ethereal feel. Way back when, I was painting on canvases that were directly against the wall. And when I pulled them off, I was taken by these incredible, beautiful deckled edges of paint. But they were very fragile. So I wanted that symbolism of this as part of something much greater, our collective creator. So I use a drill bit that's very aggressive, um, an electric drill, to sculpt these edges for symbolism. I paint several coats of white gesso, which is an artist primer. And then I put down several layers of uh, glazing of light yellow paint to create luminosity, to begin that process of luminosity. I have a lot of layers of paint on the finished paintings. It is an old master's technique from the Renaissance where they would build up layers and layers and layers of paint so the light would actually boom in and out. And that luminosity and that light is um, so very important to me because that's how I image my creator. So I use traditional painting techniques and I also use contemporary painting techniques. I, like the dripped lines is a very contemporary uh, way to paint. So I begin my concepts with a sketchbook. I sit with a universal spiritual truth until I feel it, and then I bring it out through heart and hand using pastels in my sketchbook. And from here, I often go to painting studies, and these give me a little further direction on where I'm going. As artist in residence, I decided to do a series of painting I've entitled The Gospel Truths. And the reason why I selected that was because I love the duality of that phrase. It means both the literal word and it also means the undeniable truth. And I want my paintings to speak on both levels. The title of this painting is A Family Tree of Oneness. It was inspired by the genealogy of Jesus 
And I was sitting with that and I was thinking of the complexity of his family. And then I started thinking about the complexity of my family. And then I started thinking about the complexity of the entire oneness of the world family. So the symbolism in this is we have the tree, we have the trunk, we have that as the core of our life, of our existence, of our being. And it is light to symbolize our inner light. And it is in the form of a cross because often a cross is referred to as the tree of life. And then we have the modern gold drip lines bringing it together to speak of our oneness. The green symbolizes life. And in all of my paintings, I include some sand from the River Jordan and Montana to symbolize that we are on holy ground wherever we are. The title of this painting is Glimmer of Grace. I painted it during the lockdown of the COVID-19. These dark areas kind of speak of that turbulent time. The diamond shape uh, does not sit. It is active, it is also kind of in motion. I felt very ungrounded in the early uh, COVID times. And no matter what, no matter what our times are, there's always that glimmer of grace. So this is done with washing away, you know, there was paint on here and then I wiped away and washed away and there are remnants of all these colors uh, within there. There is a lot of sand here, again, from the River Jordan and Montana to speak of our holy ground uh, during, this, during this complex time. The feeling of this painting is all about light. And I often use yellow to express light. Now, if you're looking at this painting from a different angle, you'll see a bounce off shadow of that, the yellow that I paint on the back of the board bouncing off the wall. And I do that for a little more of an ethereal feel. Most of my paintings do speak of light pretty strongly, and so I use yellow on the back. But occasionally, I will use another color that you can see in this painting down here that reflects blue, because that was the feeling of part of that painting that was dominant. So there's blue on the back of that one. The title of this painting is Light of Hope. And the first thing I want the viewer to feel is that warmth and peace of the divine presence. And you enter into that light through these rough times. And I like to work with very thick texture. So we have thick texture here and down through here. Speaking of tough times, we have drips of red. Speaking of pain, we have blues, the emotional blues. And through all of that, uh, we enter into the light. I have heard people say they don't understand abstract art. And I tell them not to try to understand it, but just sit with it and let it into their heart. And while these paintings have specific meaning to me, I hope they invite you to reflect on whatever is important to you. It has been an honor and a pleasure showing my art here and being an artist in residence. This, uh, the staff and the Holter have been absolutely wonderful. The space could not be better. The high gallery, it, it, I hope you can come in and see it in person, but it is so, it has incredible light and incredible space, and it's a rare opportunity that I could show my larger paintings. So I welcome you down, and they're open regular hours, and they are free.